this is to make a sous vide cooker using a normal rice cooker, a temperature controller, a probe to measure the temperature. We put that in here, into the center. Then we connect power to this device. Then we connect the power of the rice cooker. And then the switch here will switch the rice cooker on and off depending on the temperature that's measured inside the rice cooker. Uh, the trick is that you have to actually connect the power that goes into here, the power, into the power that the switch will be switching. Okay, so uh, let's connect the sensor. Okay, then we're gonna connect the power. So I took a cable, cut the tip, and I split the plus, minus, and the ground. And I like to use this switch because then I don't have to cut the cable with my rice cooker. I can just plug the power from the wall uh, into here, which I'm not gonna do yet because reduce the chance of death. Um, so we're gonna wire this in here. I'm just gonna put the black one on. Actually it's gonna need some, some stripping. Curl this up a little bit. Polarity doesn't matter. And then that same port, I'm going to wire into our temperature controller. And then this guy plug this into the power of the temperature controller. Send the wall goes in here, 
one end of it goes in here and here. This is just the same node. And then put the other end. And this one we have to connect to a switch as well. So we've prepared this as a cable, a jumper cable that I'm going to connect between the power and my switch. So I'm going to twist these guys together. Plug into this port, which is the other end of the power. And then this one will plug into the switch right here. So that when the sensor sees that the temperature is high enough, it turns it off. This end will plug at the other end of the switch. So it will disconnect this wire to power when the electricity is not needed temperature is high enough and this end will connect to the other side of of our power outlet And I'm gonna connect the ground, but it's in this case my device doesn't even have a ground, so it doesn't matter. It's just good practice to have a ground. Okay, so now it's connected and before we plug the power in, uh, we really should be checking these. Uh, so <laughs> we're gonna plug the power in. Let's see if all the connections work properly. I plug the power in here, so it's 120 volts. Okay, here to here. Volts here to here is zero. Okay, switch just turned on. You can see now uh, this temperature controller is functional. Um, I've set the temperature to 60 degrees, so currently it's 23 as the probe's outside. So at 23, it should switch it on. Um, this means that the voltage here should be zero because it's a switch and the voltage between here and here will be 120 because we are powering. So right now, if I plug my rice cooker inside, we should see that it turns on. But before I do that, I'm going to turn off the power and I'm going to make it a little safer. Uh, I'm going to make it a little safer because I'm all these live power sitting around is dangerous. Gonna cover this with tape. It's all safe now. Alright. So 
So I'm gonna plug in the rice cooker. The power is still off. This is also that we don't have to cut the rice cooker's uh, cable and also I can plug anything I want here. I can plug a slow cooker. Um, so, uh, all right, let's plug. Okay. All right, one more thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put this probe inside, but to have the cable come out. This cooker has a hole that we can put the probe through and we're gonna do that. Sensor back on. Okay, so it shows the temperature of the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, we set this to cook until it's 66 degrees. And now it's blinking, so it doesn't know yet what to do. Once it stops blinking, it'll start heating up. It's initializing. So rice cooker is connected. I turned it on, but the switch is not powered. Oh, now it sees, oh, it's 25 degrees. That's lower than our 66. So it turns on the rice cooker and it's heating. The water will start heating up soon. There's a few more settings. HC here, if I press and hold, HC means heat or cold. So I have it on heat, because that means that if temperature is lower, we turn on. Um, PT here is the delay. PT is the delay between each measurement. So I have it set to one minute, but we can set it to more time. Um, calibrate is if you find that the temperature is different from real life, then you would change the calibration. I found it to be correct. HS is a high limit, so we don't care about these. Low um, LS is low limit. We can set it to minus 10 so that the whole range is used. D is uh, the hysteresis. Hysteresis is, it means that if I set it to 60 degrees and we go to 60, um, it will turn off the machine. And since I set it to 5 degrees here, it won't turn back on until it's 55 degrees, which is 60 minus 5. This is so that you don't have a quick switching the right around zero. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now we're just going to wait till it gets to 66 degrees and then it will shut down. Make sure the probe's at the bottom. Oh, turned off. For it to, to drop back down. Yeah.